Is there anything you'd like Midjourney to do differently? My name is Nolan Michaels and I've made almost 70,000 images using Midjourney and there are a few things I'd love to see on their new website. If you don't know, you can now sign up for Midjourney directly through their website and create images there instead of Discord. That is pretty important and I think there are some things that frequent users will also come to want or expect. Let's start with the most simple request maybe and that is a submit button at the top. Right now, if you were on the homepage and you were to drag some pictures into the prompt box, the only way to run this prompt is to then hit enter on your keyboard. Is that really a problem? No, of course, but it would be nice if there was a submit button somewhere over here so that I could keep my hand on the mouse and just click to generate. The other reason I'd like an actual button is because sometimes I'll have my left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on the mouse. Maybe I'm copy and pasting some parameters, like chaos and stylize. I've heard the mid-journey creators talk a lot about the flow state, and staying in the flow state happens to be important to them. Needing to take your hand off the mouse to put it on your keyboard just to hit enter, that's a bit of an unnecessary movement if the goal is to stay in the flow state. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but if there was a submit button somewhere here, I think that would make the workflow a lot smoother. And look, if you're watching this, I have a special invitation just for you. If you feel like you're the only one you know who's actually interested in this AI stuff, well, I have to say you're not alone. That's how I feel. I personally don't know anyone that I can really talk to about this technology, which is why I created the SCC, the Synthetic Creator Club. This is a place for individuals to come together under a shared common interest and learn AI as it progresses. If you're interested in mid-journey, stable diffusion, any video generator, music generation, LLMs, anything to do with AI and producing creative work, I'd love if you'd consider joining the SCC. I want to encourage thorough note taking and shared knowledge. I want to help each other start and finish projects and I want to offer the chance of being showcased right here on this channel. As of now, the club will live on a Discord server. It's a paid community and I'm offering you 25% off your first three months. Use the code SCC25 at checkout and this offer will only be available as an early access gift until September 25th. If you're interested, I'd love to see you there. The next thing I'd love to see is some sort of shortcut system. Now, they have this on Discord where you can type prefer option set and then choose a shortcut name that will expand into anything you'd like. This was mainly used for parameters so you didn't have to write them out every time. This saves some headaches and was extremely useful. Unfortunately, this feature isn't available on the website and that could be for a couple of reasons. Maybe people haven't used it enough to warrant the extra resources or maybe they haven't found a good way of implementing it yet. Either way, shortcuts are sorely missed. They talk a lot about getting new users to become super users, and I think shortcuts is one of the key opportunities for that. If they don't want to complicate this home screen and add a bunch of extra options that might overwhelm someone, maybe just a glossary of preferred parameters would do the trick. Like you can click this button to see more options. Perhaps there could be a shortcut section here where you can select different parameters you use most often, and then quickly access them this way instead of having to write them out. I don't know, I really do prefer the Discord way of doing it where you can select the shortcut name and have it expand into anything you'd like. I think it created a great workflow. I think it created a personalized workflow that worked best for you. I'd love to see them revisit this sooner than later. I think they're really missing out on getting new users comfortable with generating more often. Speaking of comfort, I'd love to see a more fine-tuned control over parameter values. I know you can type these parameters manually into the prompt box and select whatever value you're looking for, but with parameter values already built into this slider system, it'd be nice to have a little more control over them. Right now we can only adjust the stylized value by 100, weirdness by 300, and chaos by 10. And for each of those, that is absolutely not what you'd want to do. Stylized, you probably want to adjust by 50, weirdness by maybe 10, and chaos by one or two at a time. Fine tune control over these parameters are so important and I find it extremely odd that you can't adjust them here. Again, you can do it through the prompt box, but a new user would be using these sliders and probably not getting what they're looking for. And I think there is an easy solution. For image size, we have the slider to change the aspect ratio, but you can also manually change the ratio by clicking on those numbers there. So if we can manually do it there, it'd be nice if there was a numerical value here that we could just adjust manually. Again, it's not that big of a deal, none of these critiques are, but when they're all added together, I think the new user experience could benefit from these features greatly. The fourth thing I'd love to see on the Midjourney website is the chance to create in different workspaces. Let me try to explain. 
when you've made so many images, almost 70,000, your homepage, your organization page, can get pretty overwhelming. There is a filter system where you can choose through a bunch of different options and maybe you only want to see your upscales. But I would love to have some of these images not appear here at all. I would love to have them live in their own spaces. And I think there's one possible way to make that happen. And that would be through the ability to create within folders. Right now I have an SREF folder where all of my style references live. But what I'm suggesting is being able to create just within this folder so that my regular organization page is not littered with these as well. Is that possible? I don't know, maybe. I think the point is, is that when you're working on specific projects, you'd like for those images to be living in their own space. One, so that they don't mix in with all your other images, and two, it's a place where you know you can find them easily. Folders kind of work that way, but creating within a specific folder would help a lot. While we are sort of on the topic of filtering through our images, I'd love to see two ways of sorting through them. And I got a comment from Bradland Kingdom that agrees with me. We'd like to specifically sort by adjustments. Like variations, but also in painting and panning as well. It would be really beneficial to see certain categories of adjustments all in one place. Again, when you have 70,000 images, finding changes to individual pictures can be pretty difficult. And another way to sort through our images, one that I would personally love, is some sort of way to view the lineage of a generation. Maybe we hit variation, maybe we use the editor to expand the frame, maybe we in-paint a little bit. I'd love to have a screen where we can see what we started with and then we could have arrows leading to the changes we made. Some sort of horizontal canvas. I don't know how practical that is, maybe that would be a super advanced pro feature. Either way, I think something like that is more important the more someone uses Mid Journey. Hey, it's just something to consider. The fifth thing that I think would work really well on the Mid Journey website is some sort of custom tag system. There used to be four emojis you could use as like a personal rating system. It was like the puke emoji, a meh, a smiley face, and then a really happy smiley face. Something like that. Maybe in an updated version of that, you could have four custom slots and you could tag images as whatever you like. Like garbage, not bad, pretty good, and oh my god, my favorite. Essentially, it would be the same thing as before, but you would be able to sort through your images so quickly. And you could customize those tags again to be whatever you'd like. Like imagine someone said, hey, what have you made in Mid Journey? And you could just click a button to show them everything that you thought was the coolest thing ever. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Again, I have to preface that this only becomes a problem after like 50,000 images, but it still becomes a problem. I think it would just expand the Mid Journey experience and make it more magical over time. Right now, everything kind of feels ephemeral, and I don't know if that's the vibe they want new users to have. Just my opinion on that one. The sixth thing I'd like to see, and this is another one that is not a gigantic deal, but how about rooms within rooms? Yo dog, I heard you like rooms, so I put some rooms within your rooms. Look, I know they're trying to get away from Discord, but Discord has some good ideas, like being able to create individual rooms for different projects. I mentioned before that I'd like to create within folders, but maybe nesting within rooms would work as well? The seventh and last thing I'd love to see from the Mid Journey website is the ability to hide or select individual images. Right now, the only way to isolate an image is to upscale them, but that costs GPU hours and I don't necessarily want an upscaled version of the image. I just want to select it from the rest of the grid, you know? In the same way that we would do on Discord. On Discord, we do that to separate the images, but on the Mid Journey website, since the images are already separated, I'd like to be able to choose which images out of the grid I want to keep and then hide the rest. Like this beautiful giraffe prompt. I could click hide, but then that would hide everything that was created. Ideally, I'd like to be able to select just one of these to keep and hide the rest. Maybe there would be a button there that would highlight the image you selected and that would keep it moving forward. And then the other three would just disappear. I don't know, something along those lines, because again, 70,000 prompts is like 280,000 images. I would just love a little more control over my organization. Maybe that's the theme of this video. You can let me know what you think. What would you like to see from the Mid Journey website? And hey, if we're on the same page so far, maybe you'd like some more Mid Journey tips. You should watch this video next. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.